Hello traders, hello investors, how are you guys doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today let's analyze Apple. It's been a while since I don't do an Apple analysis in this channel. It is quite important to do that right now because Apple is about to report earnings in two days. And this is quite curious. October 27 is a very, very curious day to report earnings. I will explain to you guys why later. And Apple just did an upwards breakout from this descending channel, as we can see on this chart. It broke this upper purple trend line. It broke the 21 exponential moving average. And right now it is just going up. Do we see any top sign? Is there any chance that Apple is going to correct again in the near future? I will give you guys more details in this video. First, remember, click on the like button to support this channel and subscribe to keep in touch with my daily analysis. I'm here every single day, my friends, every single day, keeping you guys updated. All right. OK, so now let's see how Apple is doing. Apple is going up nicely since it did. Uh, this hanging man, this is a classic, a very classic candlestick pattern called hanging man candlestick pattern against the common sense. Usually you see people saying that a hanging man is a bearish top sign, right? Well, statistic in theory it is. However, statistically speaking, data suggests that a hanging man candlestick pattern is a bullish continuation candlestick pattern 56 percent of the time i did alert you guys about this on our newsletter from october 18. i told you guys i analyzed spy tesla and apple as well and i told you apple is still in a bear trend we just hit a dual resistance level made by the ema and the trend line however it's doing hanging man candlestick pattern and by breaking this dual resistance tesla will most tesla i'm so sorry I, I just recorded a video on tesla Apple is about to trigger a mid-term reversal. Earnings would just enhance the upside movement. In theory, the next target is around 160, 164. So, okay, it did exactly as we thought it would behave. If you want to trade with me, subscribe to my newsletter. Check my website. The link is in the description of this video. My public portfolio has a public track record. Check my performance over here. See if you like what I have to offer. Now, back to Apple, not Tesla. I just recorded a video on Tesla. So if I say Tesla accidentally, I mean Apple. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys this right now. OK, so Apple is in a bull trend. Could it possibly correct from here? Yes, of course it could. If, for instance, in the one hour chart, we see crystal clear top sign. I do believe we could retest the 21 NEMA in the one hour chart. OK, in the worst case scenario, we're going to do a sharper pullback in the daily chart to its 21 NEMA. Now, in theory, in theory, uh, the, the, the EMA is very close to the 38.2% retracement. So this is a very strong dual support level on Apple. So even if Apple drops, I think it is going to hit 146, 145, and then this is it. Then we'll see how to proceed because if Apple corrects and does any bullish sign around the 146, 145, it is just going to be another opportunity to buy because Apple right now, it is in a bull trend. Again, the next target is about 164, 160 over here. We have a secondary resistance at 158 and we have earnings in two days. Why it is so curious to see Apple reporting earnings on October 27? Because statistically speaking, October 27 is the greenest day ever on the S&P index. If, if, you, if you look at the average daily returns, and uh, analyze the S&P since its inception, you'll see that October 27, the S&P goes up on average 0.54%, making it the greenest day. In addition, in, in addition, it, it seems, it seems it goes up most of the time as well. It does not only go up uh, a lot, but it goes up most of the time consistently. So 
October 27 is a quite curious day for Apple to report earnings in theory since it is already going up. Since the momentum is already bullish, if we see earnings, in theory, earnings are supposed to enhance the previous bullish movement. All right. So we'll see. It is quite interesting. October 27. I'm quite excited. Uh, I'm quite curious as well to see what's going to happen next. So remember, pullbacks are expected. If we see a pullback to the 146, 145, that's totally OK. That's totally normal, acceptable. Any bullish reaction in a support level is a buy opportunity. Is a good time to buy Apple right now. Well, right now it's it it is not okay. You guys know me. It is a good time to buy near support levels or when it's about to trigger bullish movements. As I alert you guys on my newsletter. But right now it is already going up. So right now, if I were outside of Apple, totally out of Apple, I would just wait for a pullback and then I would nail. The bottom all right right now let's just keep your eyes open at the ema at the 38.2 percent retracement and at the next resistances which are our next targets 164 160 over here we have a secondary resistance at 158 so any top level in this area might indicate a possible sell in the future we'll see how to proceed right if you want trade with me remember subscribe to my newsletters Check your subscription on my channel as well. If you are still watching this video, I probably earned your subscription, am I right? So subscribe to this channel as well. Thank you very much, my dear friends. Stay safe. See you guys tomorrow.